Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Zendesk to Gmail in 2024. So today we're optimizing your workflow by connecting Zendesk to Gmail. And of course, this integration ensures that you support team can efficiently manage tickets and respond to customers' inquiries directly from Gmail. So stick around uh, as I guide you through the steps to connect Zendesk to Gmail in 2024. So let's streamline your support operation and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and open Zendesk. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section and here, type zendesk.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into the home screen or main screen of their website. If you have an account, you can go to the top right corner, sign in option, click on it to sign in into your account. If you don't have an account, basically just go and click on start free trial or you can click on buy now to and pay one of their prices. You can see so you can pause the video and read all the options that comes with it as an example. Of course, you can even have your free trial, 14 days free trial. Uh, the number of, uh, of course, money changed depending on the number of agents. So you can see monthly and annually the prices here. And as I said, if you have an account, just log into it. If you don't, you'll have to go and create an account. So go and enter your email, name, uh, last name, number, uh, company name, etc. Every information, then enter a password, then click on complete trial sign up. For me, uh, I already like the desk because you see, already like everything is filled up. So, but I still couldn't have access because I keep getting an annoying uh, information or an annoying message. You will see it right now. And I cannot get past root, even if I verify my email already, but I keep getting this. This is a problem that occurs to some people. So if you have it, you'll have to contact the support and you'll have to wait for them until they respond. I will not be able to do so. So for me, I'll basically just show you an article uh, that we'll go through and I even will show you how. So for me, I'll just go here to products, click on marketplace to show you that the integration is, option, is there and you can do it very easily if you sign into your account. So You'll have to go to the marketplace of the apps as an example. Of course, as an example, I'm marketplace. I'll basically have to go and look for Gmail. And here, if I scroll down, I'll find like a lot of apps. So click on two. We'll have to look for the Gmail app to add it. So of course, not here, not here. I don't know why it did not appear yet. So yeah, there's a lot of apps. So when I type Gmail, normally it should be in there. I don't know why it did not appear. Of course, for you, you can just look for it. Or as an example, I'll just go. So how to connect Zendesk to Gmail. And we'll follow one of the articles shown there. So connecting your, as example, Gmail, Gmail users to Zendesk. So you can go through this. So here's an example, there's an article on how to connect an email, like how to connect your Gmail. Of course, connecting your Gmail, even very easily, I just remembered, without even going to the marketplace. If you are just creating your account on Zendesk, if you use the same email uh, to create, of course, a Zendesk account, the same one as you have in Gmail, sorry, not GoDaddy, in Gmail, then, the two options will be already like LinkedIn. So as an example, well, if I click on like sign up or free trial in here, so, okay, I clicked on many things. None of them is right, it's fine. I'll just go here to free. So here, as you can see, make sure to use your Gmail email. If you use it, the connection will be already established. You don't have to do to go to the marketplace. I just remember that. That's why it did not appear in here. Normally, when you type Gmail, or as an example, I will just type Teams, or sorry, Microsoft like Teams or something like that. I'll find 
everything I type in here. Why I did not find Gmail? Because Gmail is already connected if you use the same Gmail to create an account. As you can see, uh, verify your account. I already like click on verify. I already verified my account. And that means, of course, if you use the Gmail or your Gmail email in here while you're creating your account, the Gmail will be already connected. But if you didn't use this and you want to connect it, you can follow like those two articles in here on how to do it uh, by the support of them. So you will have an admin center, click on channels and sidebar, then click on talk and email, and then email in the support address section, click on add addresses, then select, con uh, select connects external address. Simple as that. If requested, sign into your Gmail account. As simple as that. And here, sign in with Google. Google, of course, is Gmail. So because G Gmail is provided by Google. Then, if you don't, if you don't want to import any pre-existing emails as tickets, then select create tickets from last twenty emails. You can then. When this option is selected, last fifty emails, regardless of read and read status, will be imported as tickets. When it's it's uh, selected pre-existing emails will be imported as tickets then click on sign in google follow on screen prompt to connect to your gmail account click on finish and yeah you can now even manage your gmail connection like the settings you can uh, edit those settings however you want you'll be able to navigate through them and configure the gmail integration you can follow the on-screen instructions to configure the gmail integration you may need also to sign in uh, or sorry to grant permissions for Zendesk to connect with and even uh, give permissions to do any necessary navigation you can even customize your Gmail integration by choosing the settings for ticket creation and notification you can configure the type of notification you want to receive in Gmail such as new tickets or tickets updates and of course before even finalizing the setup test the integration to ensure that zendesk notification are successfully appearing in gmail and this will help verify that the connection is working as expected and after testing save the integration settings and this is completes uh, this completes the setup process and zendesk is now connected to gmail and your support team will receive timely notification and can manage ticket directly from gmail Regularly make sure to even monitor the integration to ensure the notifications are accurate and timely adjust settings in Zendesk or Gmail as needed to optimize the workflow for your team support. So there you have it. You successfully connected your Zendesk to Gmail in 2024. Now, your support team can efficiently manage tickets and respond to customer inquiries directly from Gmail. If you have any questions or that is a specific topic that you'd like me to cover, just put it down below in the comment section. I'll try to do it as soon as possible. So thank you for watching and happy supporting and see you and I will see you in the next video. Of course, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching and goodbye.